hello welcome to another video uh, this video it's a short video but it's very useful uh, it's regarding the how to format the date time and time uh, this video I'll just do the date portion of it not the time but for example the regular um, date time that now that to string or to short date string uh, will give you us this format that you see at the first line of this uh, console application very basic but I was asked can you um, format the date differently and this is how I did it I'll show you in the uh, over here in a loop how I did uh, was able to change the date uh, in any way you want in my case I needed to uh, replace the backslash or forward slash uh, with underscores and also I needed the date the actual name of the date not the month <coughs> but the actual date so it's saying here that it's Friday the 24 2011 and as you can see on this loop that I have it's going it's starting from the 24 all the way to today to 7 1 now I'll over the code here uh, the first thing I did was <coughs> create a variable called from and what I assigned this uh, from variable is uh, day and time but as you can see I'm going back seven days and the way you do is just add a negative if you want to go forward then you take away the negative and the two I want to go to now so as you can see I have a basic uh, while statement or while loop so while from is less or equal to now I should be able I should the program should give me all the dates in this format so the basic one is this one now if you want to format that uh, date differently then you use this one the date uh, to string and as you can see you can pass in a format and the way this one is working is, is the month uh, the day uh, it's very important to keep the lowercase if not you get different results and here I'm saying I want the, the four digits for the year now if you want the day the name of the day that you're actually on going from it's three uh, lowercase d and for the actual number you do double lowercase d now you can pass a comma or you don't have to but you can leave it like that and it will also give you a different thing as you can see Wednesday 29 but there's no comma there uh, you can pass anything over here you can do another underscore if you like and it will still work you can see now if you want to have the entire list for what kind of uh, letters or lowercase or uppercase even the hour if you say the hour it should give me 18 which is almost 6 almost 7 o'clock if you want the minutes you could do like this and you got minutes so it's 653. If you want the seconds, this should work. I hope. Yep, 28. So as you can see, you can format this differently. Uh, you can take away this. If you don't need that. They'll still work. So it's pretty useful. Uh, and after that, I'm just incrementing the from. I'm adding a date. So once it finished with uh, 624 in this example over here it will add one so it will be 625 and here it will check if it's less or equal once it's equal to now which is 71 it will just uh, escape out of the loop uh, hopefully this will help you out uh, there's a site here from Microsoft um, that says uh, Here's the link, but it tells you 
uh, the custom date format strings and here you can see the way it's a few examples and here as you can see they have the what you need to type in and what output you'll get as you can see if you do just a D it will give you just a 1 uh, and 2D lowercase will give you the 0 uh, 1 and there's a bunch more so I add this link uh, on the video so everybody could see it and take advantage of this nice list of how to format the date and time so thank you for watching and come back soon for another video